Hey, what up, what up, what up? What's happening, what's happening, what's happening? It is me, your boy, Big L0226. And welcome to the big time. Chilling in the game zone with me, man. Hey, we back here on this uh, Trails of Cold Steel, man. With episode two of the prologue. We're going to call this episode, you can keep it way to Thor's, but we're going to say that this is the entrance ceremony. So let's get into it, man. Alright, we're going to step into this park here. Oh, hey, it looks like there's even a little park here. Seems like the perfect spot to catch a breather, what with all these shops around. She's sleeping here. Is she a new student? She's got the uniform and all. The ceremony's going to be starting soon. Maybe I should wake her up. I better go. She's sure a strange one, like a stray cat or something. If she's headed to the school, I'd say that's my cue to pick up the pace. Up in the chapel here. So this is the town chapel. Seems like it's about the same size as the one back home. Excuse me then. That's one tall guy. And judging by his complexion, I don't think he's from Erebonia. But he's wearing a red uniform too. Just like me and that girl. Ah oh well. 
While I'm here, I might as well get in a prayer for the start of the school year before I take off. I shall take my leave here, my lady. I pray you find victory here in both your studies and your training. Thank you, Klaus. I'm leaving everything in your hands while Father is away. Understood, my lady. Excuse my rudeness, young sir. It truly is a splendid day, is it not? The start of a new chapter in the lives of so many promising youths. Allow me to express my sincerest congratulations on your admittance into this fine academic institution. Oh. Thank you very much. I'm guessing he's a butler? <laughs> he certainly looks the part. That means the girl with him must have been a noble. Did have a certain dignity about her. I wonder if she's from a famous military family. How you doing? So this is it. Thor's Military Academy. Founded by the legendary Emperor Dreykels himself. Thank you for your patience, sir. We've arrived at the Academy. Much obliged. Please, if you'll allow me to take your luggage. That won't be necessary. I prefer to avoid standing out too much. But, sir... This isn't open for debate. Take whatever rest you need, then return to Bereahar. As you wish. I shall be departing. Time spent in these hallowed halls be all you've hoped for. Please take care of yourself. I think we're going to do about 45 minutes to an hour. 
or try. Wow, an orbital limousine. Try this. Just go with that. One of Mike Fritz's fanciest um, models too. They don't do over maybe an hour and thirty minutes. Looks like even Erebonia's upper crust send their children here. Pleasure to meet you. But how do you know me? <laughs> it's a long story. Don't sweat the details right now. Is that your weapon you've got wrapped up? I need to hold on to that for the time being. Oh, right. It mentioned something about that in the guidebook. Thanks. You should be able to return it to you before long. You'll hardly even miss it. is going to be held in the auditorium. Just head straight back. You can't miss it. Anyway, I hope you enjoy your first day at Thor's. We're glad to have you. I hope these next two years will be a fruitful time for you. I guess those two must be second years? Definitely looked younger than me, though. What was that about me being the last? I'm not seriously the very last student to check in, am I? That would be yes. Sounds like it's about time for the ceremony to start, though. Here's to the start of a great two years. Now, if I may, I'd like to say a few words in closing about this Academy's illustrious history. Thor's Military Academy was founded almost 220 years ago. And this would definitely be my last uh, redo of this. Its founder, as I'm sure you're all aware, was none other so than the great I mess Emperor up on, Trichos. That's what's going to happen. I'm going on with the story. The very Whatever same forget, Emperor who ended the War of the Lions and returned prosperity to the Erebonian Empire. Thirty years after becoming Emperor, in the later years of his life, he opened the doors of this institution. It was to be a place where young people like yourselves could learn the art of war. But with the mechanization of the military, many of our graduates now pursue careers outside the army. Our mission, however, remains the same. To prepare our students to fulfill Emperor Dragos' famous mandate. Arise, O oh youth, and become the foundation of the world. 
Though much has happened these past two and a quarter centuries, the world is still the domain two of the young. Yet still the question remains, what qualities must one possess to become a part of its foundation? I hope this credo will serve as a guide and an inspiration to you during your two years at this academy. Go forth, my students. The world awaits the great things you will one day accomplish. A rousing speech. <laughs> no pressure, right? <laughs> no kidding. Though, this is Dracos the Lionheart we're talking about. He didn't earn his nickname by taking the easy route. Guess we've got more to worry about than just passing exams, huh? <laughs> I guess we do. I'm Elliot Craig. Nice to meet you. Reen Schwarzer. Hey, looks like we're sporting the same school fashion. Sporting. Yeah, no idea what the red uniform is supposed to mean, though. Most of the other students are wearing green. Well, except for the ones in the white uniforms. Those must be the nobles. Looks that way. Though... Hmm? Something wrong? Nah, just thinking to myself. And that brings us to the close of Thor's 215th entrance ceremony. Alright, um... I don't know what I can do on this, because I can't really save on it. So I'll keep going. Next, please proceed to the class designated in your guidebook. There, you will go over the school rules, as well as your class's curriculum. That is all. Dismissed! The class designated in our guidebook? I don't remember seeing anything like that. There wasn't any information on that in mine, either. I just assumed they'd tell us where to go after the ceremony. All right! Students in red uniforms, if I can have your attention, please. By now, you're probably all confused. Where's my class assignment, you're probably thinking? That's perfectly understandable. Your situation is a little more complicated than the other students. But before I explain, I'd like all of you to join me for a special orienteering exercise. What? <laughs> Did you mean an orientation exercise? Hmm. Worry not. Everything will be made clear soon enough. Now, right this way, if you would. Um. Looks like we're gonna have to follow her if we want any answers. Right.
do you think this is all about? I have no idea, but we're not going to accomplish anything just standing around here. We should go with her. And that's Patrick, one of the upper crust, one of the nobles. And he recognizes uh, Reen in the uh, red jacket. Why is there a building this dilapidated on campus? It looks like it should have been torn down ages ago. What does she even want us to do here? Is she ever going to tell us what's going on? I suppose we'll just have to go inside and see for ourselves what awaits us. This place looks like some old haunted mansion or something. Now that you mention it, it kind of does. I think this is everyone I've seen with the red uniform so far. Mm -hmm. I guess we really are part of the same class then. So, these are our new underclassmen, huh? Yep. They've got a different set of hoops to jump through than we did, though. I'm just happy all our work's paying off. I'd hate to have put in a year's worth of effort for nothing. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Wait, when did you do any work? You were just slacking off the whole time. <laughs> Says the master slacker. Still, looks like Elisa's got some stiff competition. Quite a bevy of beauties they've got there. And I'm looking forward to getting intimately acquainted with this. This is how this is. This is how this game uh, slowly lets you know what oh, it's all about. You know one of them? Uh, wait, no, no, not these ones too. Stop flirting with every damn girl you lay eyes on. Do you have any idea how many guys at this school have gotten their hearts broken because of your libido? <laughs> did did you just sneer at me? Oh, you did, didn't you? Come on now, no fighting, you two. <laughs> well, look who finally made it. Nice work. You got our little chickadees all sorted out, I take it? They're all bright-eyed and ready to go. So from here on out, we're gonna have to give it all we've got to support this fledgling class. 
<laughs> now you sound the part of the student council president. Guess she's going all in. Well, they'd be in for a pretty rough time if we didn't help out a little. At least to start with, anyway. Everything's ready over there, right? You betcha. Just like the instructor asked. Can't help but feel a little sorry for them, though. Mm -hmm. Same here. They've got no idea what they're being tossed into. The class they've been picked for didn't even exist before this year. Guess all we can do is watch and see what they're made of, right? Alright, we're gonna end this right here and then we're gonna come back.